Good evening. Welcome to the evening Bible study. If you have the Bible, can you look at the scripture? 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 22 to 26. 2 Timothy, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 22 to 26. Free the evil desire of youth and pursue the righteousness, faith, love, and peace along with those who call on the Lord out of a pure heart. Don't have anything to do with a foolish and stupid argument because you know they produce quarrel. And the Lord's servant must not quarrel. Instead, he must be kind to everyone, able to teach, not resentful. Those who oppose him, he must gently instruct you in the hope that God will grant them repentance, lead them to a knowledge of the truth, and that they will come to their sense and escape from the trap of the devil, who has taken them and captivated to do his will. This evening, according to the, this uh, scripture, Second Timothy chapter 2, speak about um, the leaders especially. In the book of 1 Timothy, 2 Timothy is about uh, pastors and uh, deacons and then uh, elders and op overseers. Especially, you need to flee from the evil desire of youth. Evil desire of youth. What is evil desire of youth? You know, loss of flesh, loss of, uh, loss of eyes and proud of life. This kind of uh, the desire of youth. youth. But you can pursue the righteousness, faith, love, and peace. Yeah, can you pursue the righteousness, faith, and love and peace? You have to, you have to go forward, call upon the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh God, I pursue the righteousness, and faith, and love, and peace. Yeah, have a faith, have love, have a peace. And then you can have the the pure heart. Pure heart is very very important. In the last day, people they have the uh, evil desire of their heart. It's very dangerous. Verse twenty three say, "Don't have anything to do with a foolish and stupid argument." Yeah, so many people so foolish. You know, when somebody so foolish, I just leave them. I keep on pray for them. Why? Because a stupid argument. When I'm telling the truth, you know, they don't understand what I'm saying. What should I do? I just keep on praying for them. And don't anything to do with the foolish and stupid argument. I wish all the members of London Shepherd Church no more foolish. And then they understand what does it mean of uh, the truth. And then... Because of, if you continually argue with these uh, foolish people, and then they produce the more quarrels, leave them. Just keep on praying for them. Verse 24 said, Lord of servant, you and me, must not quarrel. And no quarrel means not argue and not fight. Just, just, we don't against the flesh and the blood. We are against the power and principality, weakness of this world. We don't against the somebody. We are against the demonic power. Therefore, you know, Lord of servant, you and me must not quarrel. Instead, he must be kind to everyone. Be kind to everyone and able to teach. Yeah, we have to teach them. And to uh, not uh, resentful. Yeah. Yeah, we have to, uh, you know, teach them. And then those who oppose him, he must uh, gently instruct. Of course, I'm telling the truth, but some people may not listen. But I keep gently instruct. In the hope that God will grant them repentance, leading them to knowledge of the truth. This is what is my prayer. Let God help them to repent. This is my prayer. I pray for all our congregation day and night. Thank you, uh, Deacon Lily, and you're watching, and you are the one to pray for me and pray for all our congregation. Thank you. Keep on praying for them. What the Bible say, yeah? 
you have to pray for them and instruct to them gently, and they may repent, repent their sins, and they understand the knowledge of the truth, and then um, they will come to their sins and escape from the trap of devil. Do you know devils steal, kill, destroy? They may escape from the trap of devil. And then take them and to do uh, uh, the will of Father. No more will of Satan. Do you know the will of Satan is still kill, destroy. Satan tried to steal your joy and peace. Satan tried to steal your, do you know, the godly life and righteousness and faith and love and pure. But don't lose it. Keep coming to Jesus. Proclaim that. Jesus is your Lord and your Savior. Keep claim that Jesus is your deliverer, your protector, and then kicking out the evil desire of your dude, yeah, kicking out the loss of flesh, loss of eyes, proud of life, kicking out all the dirty, um, the filthy, and, and, and demonic attitude in your life. But follow Jesus. When you follow Jesus, and then um, you will overcome that this uh, foolish and uh, stupid argument. But you are the one to supporting for these people. Yeah? And uh, they will repent. And they will know the knowledge of the truth. This is my prayer. I pray to God, Lord, forgive my sins, forgive my family's sins, forgive all the sins of our all members. And they will know the, the truth and follow Jesus. Let's pray. Father, I thank you for your grace and your mercy. Would you bless all our uh, members of London Shepherd Church? Would you bless all the people, those who know our church, those who are in Sutton and England, the United Kingdom, and whole Europe, and whole nation? Father God, we thank you for your grace and your mercy. We 